For thousands of years, mankind has been researching the starry sky, and it is above all the latest technology that allows us to understand a little better what may be going on above our heads. However, even in the world of astronomy, almost every discovery is associated with many new puzzles and questions. Examples can be found not only in the form of special planets or stars light years away, but also in the planets we find in our own solar system. Be curious about the most mysterious discoveries that have been made in space in recent years. We leave Earth, the only home we know, to go to the furthest reaches of the cosmos. If you would like to join us on our journey, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let us begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. The Chariklo Asteroid The findings of asteroids during space exploration are not uncommon. As a rule, they are mainly used for orientation and only attract attention when they approach one of the large planets or even the Earth. A little different was the case with the Chariklo Asteroid. The special thing here was that it was not just one of the many rocks in space. Instead, researchers discovered quite quickly that it has two rings that move around it and apparently contain ice crystals. While quite a lot is now known about Chariklo, for example, that it has a diameter of about 248 kilometers, researchers are still asking many questions. For example, it has not been conclusively clarified why the two rings are stable. It is assumed that the asteroid must still have its own small moon to stabilize the rings. Because it was the first find with its own ring system around an asteroid, Chariklo is still the object of many researches and puzzles around the universe. The Loner Planets Also known as the Rogue Planet, the Loner Planets are a little mystery for the researchers. In contrast to all other planets and heavenly bodies, they do not have the property of being bound to a certain orbit. Instead, these planets succeed in orbiting a certain center of a galaxy or even a whole solar system completely independently. So, unlike the known planets in our system, for example, they are not bound to a fixed orbit, but follow their own laws that have not yet been researched. The reason for the occurrence of these planets has not yet been conclusively clarified. It is assumed that from the time of their formation, they were never bound to a center, Another possibility is that they were pushed out of the planetary sequence due to events and have not been bound to the gravitational pull and orbits since then. It is assumed that there are millions of such planets in the Milky Way, but so far, there have been few real sightings of solitary planets. The Exoplanet HD 189733b what makes the exoplanet HD 189733b so special in comparison with other planets is its excellent position for a precise analysis of the planet. Since it is perfectly illuminated by its central star, it is not only possible to view various information with the telescopes, but also to make determinations of its composition. In the case of the probably completely blue exoplanet HD 189733b, it has also been possible to prove that methane gas is present on the planet. Its surface should be around 1,000 degrees Celsius, and various carbons escape at regular intervals. This is an indication that living beings could have been active here. But you should not be deceived by its blue color. In fact, the cause seems to be a storm of glass particles active in the planet's atmosphere at about 7,000 kilometers per hour. Jupiter's Big Red Spot Whoever believes that research in space has only just begun in New Year's will be taught a lesson to the contrary, especially with the knowledge about the Big Red Spot of Jupiter. Already in the middle of the 17th century, discoverers noticed the special construct on the surface of the giant Jupiter. The special feature is that the spot has not changed significantly since then. It is still in place and although it has slightly changed its color over the years and fluctuates in size, it is still visible with simple telescopes. It is assumed to be a giant storm, 
which has therefore been active on the surface up to the atmosphere of Jupiter for hundreds of years. What the exact chemical composition is is still unknown. However, permanent observation has revealed changes. In its smallest dimension, the storm was 16,000 kilometers wide. In some cases, it had already assumed the circumference of two Earths. The Fermi Bubbles Around the Milky Way The Milky Way is still the central object of most research around the universe. Researchers are not only concerned with the search for new galaxies, but also with many effects that occur around the Milky Way itself. One example is the so-called Fermi Bubbles. Roughly speaking, these are two huge areas above and below the Milky Way, which are particularly striking because they combine a high level of gamma and X-ray radiation. Scientists are currently puzzling where the origin of this radiation comes from and what it means for the corresponding galaxies in the vicinity. Another peculiarity of the Fermi Bubbles is that they appear to be located in the very center of the Milky Way. Since gamma radiation is the worst thing imaginable for the Earth, there is naturally a great deal of interest in finding out where the radiation comes from. But so far, there are only a few theories that cannot be proven. There could have been a strong formation in the past, or a particularly strong event in the formation of the galaxy. In the end, however, no one has any real idea what is causing this massive energy. The Hexagon in Saturn's Core Jupiter is not the only planet to have a special feature on its surface that had attracted the attention of telescopes. In the case of Saturn, researchers have also already discovered in the past that a structural shape is apparently located at the north pole of the planet, which is not only easy to spot, but also appears to change color regularly from a distance. We are talking about the so-called hexagon of Saturn. The structure was first discovered in the 1980s and later visited again with the Cassini probe, it seems to be an event that, like the spot on Jupiter, does not really seem to move. Instead, the structure remains visible on the north pole of the planet alone, and in addition, has a width of about half the circumference of the Earth. Again, researchers are still a little perplexed as to what might have caused the effect. The current theory is that it is a kind of weather phenomenon that has to do with the special seasons of Saturn. Since it is building up right above the pole, an interaction with the planet is very likely. In addition, it has been found that it changes color over time. This may be due, among other things, to the stronger solar radiation. Or, it may indicate that the seasons have reached a certain activity. The Einstein Cross, many light years away. If you have a good telescope of your own and use it to scan the night sky for new discoveries, you usually have a share in the fact that we learn a little more about space and galaxies every day. But most of all, one can find one or two objects in the night sky that at first sight have nothing to do with planets, stars, or suns. An example of this is the so-called Einstein Cross, which can be found in the center of the constellation Pegasus. This is more of a physical effect than the actual accumulation of stars, even if you could assume that with the brightness of the image once you discover it in the night sky. At a distance of about 8 billion light-years away, there seems to be a large galaxy, which is also visible with a telescope on Earth due to the gravitational lensing effect. Here, the light is deflected by mass and can be seen even at great distances. In fact, very little is known so far about what can actually be observed here. But it is one of the first discoveries that professionals and amateurs alike can make when working with the telescope in the sky. Magnetar the destroyers of the solar systems. Neutron stars are not common in the galaxy and are usually formed when suns and other central planets collapse after a supernova and the mass and gravitational pull is still maintained. But there is a stronger specification, the so-called magenta stars. It is assumed that about 10% of all neutron nests eventually become a magnetar. These are characterized, hence the name, mainly by a particularly strong magnetic field. In current research, their role is being debated primarily with regard to superflares and radiation bursts in space. They could be a reason for the fact that in certain solar systems, all planets lose their properties or simply become the rocks they are depicted as in popular culture. 
an important list of secrets from outer space could be made. What other examples of particularly strange discoveries in space can you think of?